Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, rectangle uh, ABCD along with this uh, diagonal uh, BD and this uh, segment uh, EC as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, they intersect each other at this point uh, P and moreover the side length of this rectangle uh, AD is uh, 30 units whereas uh, this segment uh, AE is uh, 24 and finally this segment uh, EB is uh, 36 uh, units and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% uh, true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step we know that this uh, whole uh, side length of this rectangle AB is going to be the sum of these uh, two individual lengths uh, 24 plus 36 uh, is going to give us uh, 60 so therefore if this uh, side length uh, is uh, 60 then this uh, other side length uh, CD is going to be 60 units as well and finally this side length uh, AD is 30 so therefore this side length uh, BC is going to be 30 units uh, as well and moreover since we are dealing with this uh, rectangle ABCD so therefore uh, these angles are going to be 90 degrees each and now let's make an observation we can see the area of this uh, green uh, shaded uh, region is going to be equal to the area of the triangle uh, DAB we are looking at uh, this uh, big uh, triangle minus uh, the area of this uh, triangle uh, EPB we are looking at uh, this uh, triangle so therefore now our task is to calculate the area of this triangle uh, DAB and also the area of this uh, triangle uh, EPB and now let's focus uh, on this uh, triangle that is uh, wedged uh, between uh, these two big uh, right triangles this right triangle uh, and uh, this uh, big uh, right triangle as well so therefore we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, DAB and moreover the area of this uh, other triangle uh, EBC as well and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, DAB and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times base uh, times height and in our case our base is 60 and the height of this triangle is 30 so therefore the area of this triangle uh, DAB is going to be 1 divided by 2 times uh, 60 times uh, 30 and if we simplify everything on the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 900 and now let's focus on this uh, other right triangle uh, EBC and we are going to apply the very same uh, area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times base uh, times height and in our case uh, our base is 36 uh, and the height is uh, 30 so therefore the area of this triangle EBC is going to be 1 divided by 2 times 36 uh, times uh, 30 and if we simplify everything on the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 540 and now let's make an observation we know that these uh, two side lengths uh, AB and this side uh, CD are parallel to each other since we are dealing with this uh, rectangle ABCD now let's assume that this uh, angle is uh, alpha then this angle has got to be alpha as well since they are uh, alternate interior angles and likewise if I call this uh, angle uh, beta then this angle has got to be our angle beta as well they are our alternate interior angles as well and moreover if this angle uh, is uh, gamma then uh, this angle has got to be gamma since they are our vertical angles then we can see that this uh, triangle uh, EBP and this other uh, triangle uh, CDP are uh, similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem we are talking about uh, this uh, triangle 
and this uh, whole big triangle as well and now let's focus on this uh, side uh, eb and this uh, whole side length uh, cd as you can see over here the ratio of uh, eb and cd sides uh, is going to be equal to 36 uh, divided by 60 and now we can see they could reduce to 3 divided by 5 so therefore we can see that uh, their side ratio is uh, same as 3 to 5 so therefore we conclude that uh, the ratio of these uh, sides pe and this uh, side uh, pc is also going to be 3 to 5 as well in other words uh, if uh, this side uh, is uh, 3 then this uh, side is going to be 5 and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, big uh, triangle that consists of uh, red uh, triangle and the blue triangle and both of these triangle have the same uh, height the base of this uh, red triangle is uh, x whereas the base of this blue triangle is uh, y then we conclude that the triangles with the same height will have areas whose ratio is same as the ratio of their bases as you can see over here the ratio of red area to blue area is going to be equal to x to y and here we can see we have these two triangles so therefore their ratio is going to be same as well if this is 3 then this area is going to be 3 and for this uh, base 5 this area is going to be 5 so therefore the area of this uh, triangle uh, ECB is going to be 3 plus 5 is going to give us uh, 8 so therefore we conclude that the area of this uh, triangle uh, EPB is uh, going to be equal to 3 8 uh, times the uh, area of this uh, bigger triangle uh, EBC and now let's make an observation we already figured out uh, this uh, triangle uh, EBC area as 540 so therefore I am going to replace uh, this area by 540 over here so therefore I can write this thing as uh, 3 divided by 8 uh, times 500 uh, and uh, 40 and if we simplify the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 405 uh, divided by 2 so therefore our triangle uh, epb area turns out to be equal to 405 uh, divided by 2 we are talking about uh, this triangle area and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region we already figured out uh, our this uh, triangle uh, DAB area as uh, 900 whereas the area of this uh, triangle uh, EPB is uh, 405 divided by 2 let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation so that is going to be 900 minus uh, 405 uh, divided by 2 and now I can tweak this 900 900 could be written as 1800 divided by 2 minus 405 this way we have the same denominators so therefore we can write this thing as 1800 minus 405 divided by 2 and that is going to be equal to 1395 divided by 2 and that is going to be same as 697.5 square units so thus the area of this green shaded region turns out to be 697.5 square units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye